actually try did the budget uh, for the workers comp this is what this is related to the uh, workers comp uh, estimates were a little low on what we were hoping to receive uh, we got our workers comp uh, amount for the year and so we are having to increase our budget uh, by different funds but uh, I think it's fire police uh, parks and a public works uh, department uh, fund we are having to increase that it's around you, you have the details in front of you about but it's a roughly around ten thousand uh, dollars the good news is we also did receive our notice uh, that there will be a, a rebate again this year from workers comp which we did not budget the revenue from that and now we know what the rebate is and we know how much we owe so we can uh, calculate how much we will be getting back and it's roughly uh, over well it's in excess of fifty thousand dollars in revenue so we're budgeting going ahead and putting in the uh, budget revenue uh, for it so uh, overall yeah we had the ten thousand expenses but we're getting fifty sixty thousand dollars in revenue back so g good news Okay, I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion dispense with second reading. All those in favor of the motion dispense with second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-013, resolution for the adoption and execution of, of the agreement between Delhi Township and Delhi Township Hamilton County Community Investment Corporation, Inc., and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second, the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution, Mr. Landrum? Uh, this resolution sets up the agreement between the Board of Trustees and the Board uh, of the CIC. Uh, basically, uh, the agreement between the two entities on how the CIC, what their powers will be in, in re with regards to what the Board of Trustees uh, want them uh, or allowing them to uh, uh, to do on their behalf, so to speak. So this is the actual legal agreement that uh, is more or less the understanding between the two different entities of the agreement of understanding. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with the second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-014. Resolution declaring a real and present emergency in connection with the administration of township police services. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second, the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution, Mr. Roach? Thank you, Trustee Oswald. We received a complaint at this occupied address on palisades of accumulated debris. We issued order letters with no compliance. Upon our inspections today, all the debris you see there still, still exists. So we're requesting your board declare this property a nuisance so we can address this violations with our nuisance procedure. It, it's occupied? Yes, ma'am. Yikes. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with the second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-017. Resolution declaring nuisance for accumulated debris at 425 Pedretti Road and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution, Mr. Roach? I thank you, Trustee Oswald. Um, again, we received a complaint of accumulated debris at this address. We issued an informal order with no compliance on our drive-by inspection today, all the debris is still there. So we're requesting your board declare this property a nuisance so we can address this violation with our procedures. Mr. Roach, I saw that, and those, those mattresses were wrapped in plastic like they need to be for pickup from the garbage. Are, we did re receive a call today from the property owner, said he paid somebody to come pick it up, and we told him that we had no choice but to f keep on with our procedures here. He says he's going to get rid of it as soon as possible, so I don't know if it was Rumpke was supposed to pick it up. or I mean, it's wrapped like it's going to yeah, be. like a, it's supposed to be. Correct, but it's still there. It's so. still there. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with the second reading. All those in favor, motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-018, resolution authorizing lease agreement with the Great America Financial Services Corporation for a sharp copier system for the fire department together with a related service agreement 
with Millennia Business Systems, authorizing the Township Administrator to execute the agreements, declaring an emergency, and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. And discussion on the resolution. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with the second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Next, we have citizens' comments. I do not have any pink slips, so I think we're going to move on to announcement of community events. Mr. Luby. The Delhi Civic Association meeting will be Thursday, February 5th, 2015 at 7 p.m. It will be at the Delhi Park Lodge, 5125 Foley Road. The public is invited to attend. Jenny Kostopoulos Adamson will be the guest speaker. Her topic, Vision and Mission of Know Your Community and Know Your Resources, is an effort to make communities aware of the various programs available to assist our residents with issues such as drug abuse, family counseling, and aging. To learn more, please email info at DelhiCivicAssociation.org or visit the association's website at www.DelhiCivicAssociation.org. The Delhi Historical Society Program, <clears throat> Boss Cox, will be Monday, February 9th, 2015 at 7 p.m. It will be at the Delhi Park Lodge, 5125 Foley Road. The public is invited to attend. Author Judy Sprawl Schmidt, author and adjunct associate professor of history at the University of Cincinnati, Blue Ash College, will talk about one of the most notorious political figures in the history of Cincinnati, George B. Cox, better known as Boss Cox and his impact on the city during the late 1880s and early 1900s. To learn more, please call 451-4313 or visit the Society's website at www.delhihistoricalsociety.org. The Delhi Branch Library Program, What Happens When We Remember Together, will be Tuesday, February 10, 2015 at 7 p.m. It will be at the Delhi Branch Library, 5095 Foley Road. The public is invited to attend James H. Bodel, Ph.D. Professor of Psychology at Mount St. Joseph University, will talk about the influence of storytelling on memory. To learn more, please call 369-6019 or email Mary Beth Brestel at CincinnatiLibrary.org. There is need for executive session tonight, so Mr. Luby, please read the motion. Motion 2015-015 to retire to executive session to consider the appointment, employment, promotion, or compensation of public employees. I move motion 2015-015 to retire to executive session to consider the appointment, employment, promotion, or compensation of public employees. Second the motion. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mrs. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Clude? Yes. That concludes our meeting tonight. The next regular scheduled meeting for the Board of Trustees will be Wednesday, February 11, 2015. Thank you and have a good night.